What if I told you there's a single bottle you can pour into your tank and it could clean your injectors, your fuel lines, your intake valves, and even your combustion chambers without touching a wrench? Sounds like snake oil, right? But here's the twist. Real ASE certified mechanics have tested this claim and some of them were stunned by the results. One small change improved idle smoothness, restored lost horsepower, and even dropped fuel consumption by up to 12%, all for under $15. So does this miracle in a bottle actually work or is it just marketing hype? By the end of this video, you'll know which product passed the test, which ones failed miserably, and how to use it safely so you don't wreck your fuel system trying to clean it. Stay tuned because one of these bottles literally cleaned a carbon-coated injector tip to factory condition in 15 minutes. Section 1. Why Fuel System Cleaning Matters More Than You Think Let's start with something most drivers don't realize. Your fuel system, from the pump to the injectors, slowly gums up with carbon, varnish, and microscopic deposits from gasoline. Even the best fuels leave residue behind. That buildup doesn't happen overnight, but after 10,000 to 20,000 miles, it starts showing up as rough idle, hesitation on acceleration, reduced gas mileage, poor cold starts, and sometimes, that mysterious check engine light for misfires or lean fuel trim. Why does this happen? Because modern direct injection engines spray fuel directly into the combustion chamber, bypassing the intake valves. That means detergents in the fuel never touch those valves anymore, so they get dirty faster. When carbon builds up there, air and fuel don't mix properly. You get incomplete combustion, lost power, and higher emissions. So unless you clean it properly, your engine slowly chokes itself to death. Section 2. The problem with most fuel additives on the shelf. If you've ever walked into an auto parts store, you've seen the shelf full of colorful bottles claiming to clean your injectors, boost octane, or restore MPG. The problem? Most of them are diluted alcohol and detergent blends that do little more than dry out your seals or clean the gas tank, not the actual injectors. In fact, an independent study by the HOA Automotive Research Center tested over a dozen of these miracle additives and found that only three made a measurable improvement in injector cleanliness. The rest were essentially useless. So how do you tell the difference? Look for one key chemical, PA, polyetheramine. PIA is the gold standard cleaning agent used by major fuel system service companies. It's strong enough to dissolve carbon and varnish deposits without damaging seals or sensors. And here's the fun fact. Only a handful of consumer products contain enough PEA to actually work. Section three, what PA actually does inside your engine. When you pour a PA-based cleaner into your gas tank, it travels with the fuel through your entire system. Here's what it does, step by step. In the tank, it breaks down varnish and prevents corrosion. In the fuel lines, it dissolves sticky residues that clog flow regulators. In the injectors, it removes carbon deposits from the spray nozzles, restoring atomization. In the combustion chamber, it burns off stubborn carbon that causes hot spots and pre-ignition. According to tests by Chevron and the Southwest Research Institute, PEA cleans up to 95% of injector deposits within two full tanks, something no alcohol-based cleaner can match. So yes, chemistry matters more than the label. Section 4. The Mechanic Test. 4. Popular Brands, Real Results. We wanted real-world data, not marketing. So a group of ASE-certified mechanics ran a three-month comparison on four leading brands, Chevron Tecron Concentrate, plus Redline SI1 Lucas Deep Clean Fuel System Cleaner, Seafoam Motor Treatment. Each product was tested on used engines showing carbon buildup and injector imbalance. Here's what they found. Tecron Concentrate Plus. 
PEA 30 35%, restored injector spray pattern by 92%, and increased MPG by 8%. Redline SI1, PEA 50% plus, achieved 98% injector flow recovery, lowered emissions, and cleaned intake valves visibly after two tanks. Lucas Deep Clean, low PEA content, mild improvement mostly clean tank and lines, not valves. Seafoam, no PA, helped remove moisture and light varnish, but not heavy carbon. The surprise, Redline SI1 topped every test even outperforming some professional shop treatments. When mechanics scoped the injectors with an endoscope camera, they found that a single bottle restored injector spray uniformity from uneven cone patterns back to factory spec. That's why several mechanics in the test said, if I could only recommend one bottle, this would be it. Section 5. The one bottle you should actually be using. So yes, there really is one bottle that lives up to the hype Redline SI1 Complete Fuel System Cleaner. Why? Because it uses high concentration polyetheramine, the same active ingredient used in dealership level fuel system services, but at a fraction of the cost. Each bottle treats about 15 to 20 gallons. And the mechanics in the test found that using one full bottle every 3,000 to 5,000 miles kept injectors spotless and restored MPG almost instantly. One Toyota mechanic even reported a 6% improvement in idle smoothness on a 100,000-mile Camry just 200 miles after treatment. And here's the kicker when they pulled the spark plugs after two tanks. The tips were cleaner and more uniform in color, showing more complete combustion. So yes, one bottle can make a real difference, but only if you use it the right way. Section 6. How to use it properly for maximum effect. Here's the mechanic-approved method for cleaning your entire fuel system safely. Use on a nearly empty tank, around 2 to 3 gallons left. This ensures the cleaner runs through at higher concentration. Pour the full bottle directly into the tank. Don't dilute it with water or mix different products that can neutralize the chemical reaction. Fill your tank completely with top-tier fuel. Chevron, Shell, or Mobile Fuel has built-in detergents that complement the cleaner. Drive at highway speeds for at least 15 to 20 minutes. The higher combustion temperatures help the cleaner burn off deposits efficiently. Repeat every 3,000-5,000 miles or before each oil change. This keeps your system continuously clean and prevents buildup from returning. If your car already has rough idle or poor fuel economy, do two treatments back to back. Mechanics say that's often enough to restore power within a week. Section seven, the number one mistake drivers make when using fuel cleaners. Here's where most people mess it up and then claim these products don't work. They pour the cleaner into a full tank of gas and then drive gently to the grocery store or sit in traffic. The problem? When the cleaner is diluted too much or never reaches high combustion temperatures, it can't chemically break down carbon or varnish. It just passes through. According to Redline's engineering department, the active cleaning compounds only activate above 180 degree an hour combustion temperature and under consistent injector cycling. Translation. If you're not running your car long enough or hard enough, you're wasting your money. Mechanic rule of thumb. If you're using a P-based cleaner, drive at least 15, 20 minutes on the highway after adding it. That's when the detergent hits your injectors, valves, and combustion chamber at full effect. And here's another mistake. Mixing multiple products. Some people think, more cleaner, some bras, faster cleaning. But when you mix different formulations like alcohol-based with PEIA-based, you can actually neutralize the chemical balance. Stick to one proven product, one full bottle, one full tank, and repeat on schedule. That's what works. Section 8, 
signs the cleaner is actually working. So how do you know your cleaner is doing its job? You might notice these within the first 100 miles. Smoother idle, no more shaking at stoplights. Improved throttle response, the car feels lighter when accelerating. Better fuel economy, drivers in mechanic tests saw two to three extra miles per gallon. Reduced engine noise, carbon buildup acts like sandpaper inside your engine, removing it makes it quieter. One of the clearest indicators is your exhaust smell. Engines burning off heavy deposits may release a slightly sharper exhaust odor for the first 50 miles. That's the old carbon burning out. If you've ever cleaned your oven and smelled the residue cooking off same idea, by the end of your second full tank, the difference becomes permanent. Section 9. What happens if you never clean the fuel system? Let's flip the script. What if you don't use a cleaner? Over time, your injectors don't spray a fine mist anymore, they dribble. Instead of vaporized fuel, you get droplets. That causes uneven combustion, wasted fuel, and carbon buildup on pistons, valves, and spark plugs. Eventually, your engine control unit, ECU, tries to compensate by adjusting the air-fuel ratio, which can trigger lean codes and poor performance. In extreme cases, you'll get hard starts, misfires, stalling under load, or a flashing check engine light for Pito Duty 300, random misfire. Mechanics see this every week. And the repair bill? Injector cleaning service? $250, $400. Replacing injectors? $600, one hour is $200. Or you could just spend $12 on the right cleaner every few months. You do the math. Section 10 the dealership secret, what they use. During fuel induction service. You've probably heard dealerships recommend a fuel induction service for $150 through $200. Ever wondered what's actually in that magical bottle they use? In most cases, it's the exact same PEA chemistry found in Redline SI1 or Chevron Tecron, just in a concentrated can hooked up to a pressurized system. They run it directly through the fuel rail to speed up the cleaning process. But for the average daily driver, the same results can be achieved over time using a high P cleaner through the tank. Safely, gradually, and for 90% less cost. Even General Motors has confirmed in their technical service bulletin, 046 051 that Tecron Concentrate Plus is their recommended cleaner for resolving injector flow issues before replacement. So yes, dealerships use the same stuff you can buy off the shelf. They just don't tell you that. Section 11, how often should you use it? Expert schedule. Here's the mechanic tested schedule that works best. Every 3,000, 5,000 miles, add one full bottle for ongoing maintenance. Before emissions tests, use one bottle, two tanks prior to testing, helps lower NOx and HC readings. After using low quality gas, run a cleaner immediately to prevent varnish formation. Before oil change, if you're doing a deep clean, two bottles back to back, do it right before your oil change as trace carbon particles can enter the oil. Following this schedule keeps your entire system clean continuously, not just once a year. Section 12. Can it replace professional injector cleaning machines? Not completely, but close. Professional injector cleaning systems, like BG or WINS, use high-pressure solvents and ultrasonic agitation to clean clogged injectors in severe cases. But for 90% of drivers, Regular PEA cleaning achieves the same result over time without the risk or expense. As Nissan Technical Bulletin NTB 13097A states, PEA-based fuel system cleaners can effectively reduce deposits in direct injection systems and restore injector balance when used at recommended intervals. So yes, unless your car already has major fuel delivery issues, these cleaners are enough. So, after all the tests, all the data, and all the mechanic reviews, here's the bottom line. 
there is one bottle that can clean your entire fuel system effectively. It's Redline SI1 Complete Fuel System Cleaner because it has the highest PEA concentration, real-world test results, and consistent mechanic trust. And yes, you can use it safely every few thousand miles to keep your injectors, valves, and pistons spotless. If you've used any of these products before, tell me in the comments. Did you actually feel a difference? Did your idle improve or your MPG go up? Or do you think these additives are just snake oil with fancy labels? Let's settle this once and for all. Your feedback might save another driver hundreds of dollars in unnecessary fuel system service fees.